welcome back. Happy New Year. Let's start as we mean to continue, which means that it's my job to find the best high street skincare that is just brilliant. Will not break the bank, but will look after your skin, especially at this time of year. So we're in the depths of a really cold winter in the UK. So I'm going to look at the best high street skincare to respect and care for and repair your barrier function. And I have one, two, three, four, five, ooh, six or seven products. There are so many good products recently that have been launched that are about supporting your skin's barrier function. And let's start by saying this video is partly sponsored by e.l.f. Skincare. Now, I say that with a sort of upward inflection at the end of my voice because did you know that e.l.f. Eyes, Lip, Face, an amazing makeup brand, also do brilliant skincare? And I have recently discovered them over the last three or four months. I've been using their makeup for a long time, writing about it a lot. They're amazing little trio and four set and five set palettes. I mean, they just do really good, effective, affordable makeup that's super cutting edge. And I talk about it the whole time and I write about it the whole time. But did you know they do skincare? They have three core collections and two of them I use pretty much or I have used pretty much over the last four or five months there's a range for blemish prone skin which I think is also really interesting and I will talk about here but obviously it's not for me so let's start with the fact that I use two of their ranges I use holy hydration and I use their pure skin range the holy hydration is for dehydrated dry slightly sensitized skin that simply wants all the goodness put back in that's me especially at this time of year Pure skin is for skin that is prone to sensitivities and irritations and redness. So let's start with Holy Hydration and what I love about it. Well, let's start with one of my favourite products, which is this. I absolutely love it. Elf Skincare is created by dermatologists and approved by dermatologists. What's interesting about it is that it's also vegan, which is really important for you. And you guys ask me a lot to cover vegan skincare. So it's vegan and it's available from Superdrug, but it's also available online as well. And I'll put all of the links down below. The reason I navigated towards this one first is because it's that formula. Look at this. That's my dream formula. So this is a hydrating, lightweight lotion moisturiser and it's just beautiful. Very, very, very lightly fragranced. But when I mean lightly fragranced, I mean pretty, pretty lightly fragranced. Just really pleasant, lovely to use, absolutely beautiful. That was the product I first started using. I mean, look at that. It hydrates your skin instantly. That was the product I first started using when I discovered their skincare and I probably started using that in September October and then I managed to be able to step up the level of hydration I wanted available within the holy hydration range so that's the first product and it's holy hydration and it's their hydro gel moisturizer love the packaging I think it looks super expensive far more expensive than it actually is now the other thing I quite like is I like the holy hydration daily cleanser and this is a rinse off gel cleanser Gently foaming, but really gently foaming. I mean, not drying or stripping at all. Goes on as a clear gel, emulsifies in water, with teamed with a microfiber cloth, gets rid of everything. I really like it. And it's a good size as well for travel. They also do a sleeping mask. But before I get on to the sleeping mask, I want to talk about the two moisturizers. And when you look at the moisturizers, you're going to see this little thing on the top. And just for a second, you're going to think, what is that? <laughs> that is a little goldfish. <laughs> because it's basically the packaging is covered in the sort of ripples of water and I just love that on the top. Let me show you the two moisturisers. There's one with an SPF and one without depending on what you want. So they have two daily use moisturisers within Holy Hydration and like all of the Holy Hydration ranges it is loaded with hyaluronic acid and peptide. So what we're getting here is we're getting the new generation not just single active ingredient skincare but it all gets mopped up in a single product so you don't have to think about it and I think that's really great. That's the one with the SPF 30 in. There's one without an SPF 30 as well. Let me show you it. It's absolutely beautiful. Goes on. A little goes a long way. Super hydrating. And it, if, you're, if you've already been using the gel moisturiser in the pump and you need the next step up at this time of year when your skin is feeling super dehydrated and a little bit tight, that's lovely. It's a great moisturiser. Really beautiful packaging. Really, I don't know how they managed to make these products at such good quality and so affordable and in such great packaging. 
it's really lovely. It's a gorgeous medium weight moisturiser that suits most skin types, especially at this time of year, January and February, when the winds are blasting and your barrier function, that's your skin's ability to keep water in and all the irritants out, is a little bit impaired. The one with the SPF in is a really, really, really similar texture, maybe slightly richer, but goes on beautifully, blends really easily and is an easy way to step up and get that little bit of extra protection, especially in the long days of winter when the sun is low in the sky. You might look at the weather forecast and think that the UV rating is low, but don't forget that's UVB, not UVA, which is pretty much constant all year round and can be really strong at this time of year when the sun is low in the sky. Just a couple of other things I want to mention within Holy Hydration and then I'll go on to Pure Skin and then the Blemish um, control as well. So they do have a sleep cream, which is essentially a really rich night cream. I love the way they call these products sleep creams. What they actually are is a rich night cream that you apply slightly thicker than normal, has exactly the same texture as the day cream, and then you sleep in it. They all have the same blend of peptides and hyaluronic acid. And then they've got two really cute little products. They've got a lip hydration mask and an eye product. There's also hydrogel patches as well. Go and have a look at Holy Hydration in Superdrug. Vegan, effective, affordable, loaded with peptides and hyaluronic acid. But what's interesting for me is so often I mention American brands and I talk about how American brands are giving great basics that you can then sort of work around your addition of maybe a strong retinol at night and a vitamin C or maybe an acid. Now we have a UK range that is the equivalent that's affordable, available in Superdrug and can just support your skin through difficult times. Have a look at Pure Skin as well. Pure Skin is what I turn to when I have a, a sort of red irritated skin or if my perioral dermatitis happens to flare up. Pure Skin is the range for sensitive skin and it has oat milk, allantone and niacinamide. So oat milk is proven to calm and act as an anti-inflammatory within the skin. Allantone is super hydrating and soothing. Niacinamide helps repair your barrier function. That's vitamin B3. So widely available in a lot of skincare ranges, but to get the oat milk, the allantoin and the niacinamide in a really reasonably priced range is great. There are lots of products I like within the range. I love the cleanser. In fact, the cleanser probably is my go-to cream cleanser from Eyes, Lip, Face. It's really lovely. There's a beautiful pump action moisturiser and I'm not a toner person, but if you want a toner, it's not just an extra step after cleansing. This actually locks water into the skin in the same way that, say, Fenty Fat Water does as well. So it's a nice gloopy hyaluronic acid rich toner as well. And then I'm going to finish really quickly by talking about um, the Blemish Breakthrough range. Again, not aimed at me at all, but there is one product within the range that I would absolutely keep on hand. Let me show you the Blemish Breakthrough range, and it's the green range, this one here. It has 1% salicylic acid and 4% niacinamide in the entire range. And within the range, there is a clarifying cleanser, a triple acid resurfacing serum, which has 8.5% acids and 10% niacinamide. So that's really excellent. It's got polyhydroxy acid, obviously a salicylic acid to deep dive into pores, and tranexamic acid to try and tackle post-inflammatory redness, which is what I've had, which if you watch my last video, you will have seen me covering up the marks around my lips. Often if you get a blemish, you're left with a red mark afterwards or a brown mark, either post-inflammatory erythema or post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation. That's a brilliant product to use on that. And then there is a calming water cream, which is just really lovely. But the product I would keep on hand because I only get occasional blemishes, I'm really lucky, or a little bit of congestion on my nose, is the Blemish Fighting Spot Gel. So look for the turquoise blue range for Holy Hydration. Look for the white range with a hint of a cooler blue for pure skin, which is for sensitive skin. And then look for the green range for the Blemish Breakthrough. All available, reasonably priced, at Superdrug, all vegan, but I will also put the link to online as well. What a great way to start uh, 2023. I do love really brilliant, effective, affordable, high street skincare. Moving on next, Curel have a brand new product. You all know I love Curel. I love their melting gel cleanser. Curel is Japan's number one sensitive skin range, and it has something called a pseudo-ceramide in it, which basically means that it has 
active ingredients that are made to mimic your ceramides and basically repair your ceramides, which is your barrier repair function. I talk about ceramides a lot. They're basically the, the cement that keeps your skin cells together so that they make them really, really watertight and flexible and strong. So less irritation and less water lost. At this time of year, I always mention the intensive moisturising cream because it is the richest product within the range and it's the one thing that I always recommend if somebody has really, really dry, sensitive skin. That's a classic. It's been around a while. But late last year, they launched this and it's their anti-wrinkle hydrating serum. And I have to tell you, it is a great pseudo ceramide hydrating serum. Anti-wrinkle? No. I mean, just no. It has nothing in it at all that is going to tackle your wrinkles. It's just not. It is essentially a hyaluronic acid glycerin ceramide rich serum. So it's going to give you a temporary plumping. It's going to do, it's got no retinol in it. it has no peptides in it or anything like that. But it is a really lovely serum and they did need a serum within the range. So that's that one that's available from Boots. So moving on next, Hadalabo, which is also in Superdrug, is Japan's number one hyaluronic acid range. Now, hyaluronic acid range is an amazing active ingredient. It's obviously a sugar that locks water into the skin, found naturally in the skin. And I do think if you're going to go hyaluronic acid on the high street, Hadalabo is the way to go. They last year launched the Intense Hydrating Skin Plumping Gel. If you want all of the power of hyaluronic acid and in a really lovely lightweight gel moisturizer, a lovely one for blokes, completely on fragrance like Curella as well. But the one that I was most interested in was the Hado Lava Ultra Firming 5-in-1 Day Cream in Milk. And let me show you this. This was launched at the end of last year in the gold range and it's the gold range that is has the most hyaluronic acid in it has those five different molecular weights of hyaluronic acid it's my favorite high street hyaluronic acid but they also do a milky serum if you don't like that sort of jelly texture that a lot of people don't like i mean they just they just don't like it so this is the one to look out for and that's that gel cream moisturizer all available from Superdrug. absolutely beautiful lightweight sinks in in seconds really reasonably priced they do amazing SPFs, which are available, should be available year round, but tend to only be available in summer. If you get the chance, go and have a look at the SPFs when they come back to Superdrug next spring. So that is the Hadalaba Ultra Firming Booster 5 Hyaluronic Acid Day Cream in Milk. So that has five different molecular weights of hyaluronic acid, really reasonably priced. And you know, I love the pump actions. Obviously, I'm a pump action girl. I don't mind a tub of cream or gel, but for me, a first step would always be a pump action lock-in gel moisturizer serum. So beautiful, really lovely. My hands are so well moisturized. You would not believe the price of these products. Go and check them out. I'm gonna put all the details of the products down below. I have uh, three other products I want to mention really quickly. These are all available on the high street. I'm going to finish with one that's in Space NK, and I know you're going to think it's expensive, but I want you to go and have a look at it because it's not expensive at all. I was really surprised at how reasonably priced it was. Geek and Gorgeous is now available. And the reason I'm interested in Geek and Gorgeous is because they have a retinaldehyde. And just at the end of last year, I created a video on Instagram about retinaldehydes and what to look for in a retinaldehyde. If you don't know, uh, retinaldehyde is the next metabolic pathway on from retinol, the form of vitamin A that your skin can use. So between retinol and retinoic acid, you, you have retinaldehyde. And there were just a plethora of retinaldehydes launched at the end of last year. Geek & Gore just launched the most reasonably priced one. It wasn't a particularly sophisticated formula, but if you're on a budget and you want a retinaldehyde, it was the one I recommended. Anyway, they have a hyaluronic acid, and this is the HA5 Rich, which is, again, five forms of hyaluronic acid. You see a theme here in a really beautiful serum and it is a classic jelly hyaluronic acid i know some of you don't like it i know some of you don't like the fact that it tightens on the skin but the more molecular weights of hyaluronic acid the less chance it will have of being dry and tight on the skin go and have a look at geek and gorgeous i'll put the details down below i do think that in 2023 both elf and geek and gorgeous are going to go from strength to strength when it comes to their skincare also look at aven i love aven it's a brilliant french range based around um, spring water but last year they launched the tolerance hydra 10. you tend to find this range in those lovely little high street pharmacies that are independent and i do think it deserves a much better distribution than it has so this is now this is their range that's including for super sensitive skin that, that now has pre and probiotics in it to help 
pr preserve your skin's microbiome. The research is showing that. And I do think in 2023, we're going to be talking a lot about fermented skincare and the skin's microbiome. It's very early days, but it's very exciting, particularly for sensitive skin, that it's a disrupt disruptive microbiome on the skin from using overly strong detergents or maybe taking antibiotics or either topical or oral, maybe washing in too strong a hot water, maybe using really harsh shampoos can disrupt your skin's microbiome. Now, a healthy skin microbiome is like a healthy gut microbiome. It can repopulate really quickly. But if you've got long term stressed and traumatized skin, it can take a while. So something like this gives the skin pre and probiotic ferments to help repair it, along with a load of hyaluronic acid. Again, it's that pump action that I really like. And then I'm going to finish with a cream that I've used a lot since I first went to supper with Susan Yara, who's the founder. And that is the Naturium Multi-Peptide Cream because it is an all-in-one. Again, a lot of these products are all-in-one products. So you have that sort of lightweight early morning serum that just delivers hyaluronic acid, peptides, glycerin, maybe pre and probiotic ferments because it's all in one. You don't have to think about it. So you don't have to start layering on serums. It's an all in one. And I really loved using this. I really enjoyed it. It's probably going to make it into my next empties. As you can see, I've used quite a lot of it. And this is the Naturium Multi Peptide Moisturizer. Um, and the reason I mention it is because, yes, it has all of the humectants you need and all of the emollients. But again, it has loads of peptides in it and it is more expensive than the other products I've mentioned here. It's probably akin to Aven. But the reason I mention it is because it's available in Space and Care. And I know a lot of people will dismiss it as being really expensive, the entire Naturium range, because it's in Space and Care. You might think that means it's going to be out of my um, price range. I promise you it's not. It's an absolutely great range. I do think what Susan Yara, despite the controversy, has done with Nutrium is really interesting. They are all the products currently available that have hit the market at the end of last year or are about to hit the market that I think are the most effective, affordable, high street skincare that you can get, both for repairing your barrier function, for adding a bucket load of hydration, both humectants, emollients, and even to a degree occlusives to keep your skin strong at this time of year. This is what we need. We need to buckle down and protect our skin and keep the outside elements out. And that's exactly what all of these products do. I'll put all the details of all the products down below. Let me know what you're using at the moment. And then I think next week we're going to do empties because I've had quite a few recently. It's funny, isn't it? I moved well, five months ago now, five and a half months ago. And I went through a phase in the summer of neglecting my skin and sort of not even thinking about it because I was so busy unpacking. And now I'm basically repairing, 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 where basically I've been through this really stressful time. I caught COVID and then I moved and then I caught RSV and then basically my skin really dehydrated. We had a really hot summer and we had a freezing cold winter. These are the products that I'm using that are not breaking the bank, that are repairing my skin. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. I'll put all the details of all the products down below.